Hello and welcome back to the darkest dungeon. Yes, I remember that I'm supposed to say it like that and I've been remiss in not having done so for some time. I'm just looking at what we can upgrade with the stuff that we've collected. Because we did bring back some stuff from that previous mission that ruined everybody. Um, deeds, we need deeds. We've got plenty of crests, so that seems good. Other things that I'd like to upgrade are not nearly as important, at least they don't seem as important as the guild and the blacksmith, especially the blacksmith, so really we need deeds. Um, I mean, we can upgrade these, especially the the one that reduces treatment cost is almost always a good idea, because as the players level up, it costs more to get them treated in the first place. I'm doing hand gestures, if you're wondering why the mouse doesn't move, I'm... I'm gesticulating, I'm talking with my hands because I'm, you know, a human being and I'm using body language as well as verbal language to communicate my point. But unfortunately, that is not necessarily the correct way of doing it because, as you may or may not be aware, you can't actually see me. So, I, I pointed at myself then. It's, it, you know, it continues. So, what we're going to do is just embark. No and no. Everyone's got a disease. What disease has Psycho got? Where are you? There you are. The Red Plague. That is terrible. Why are you even here? You are also going in here. I'm going to spend the rest of my money on this. That's fine. Yes. I am sure they will help. Okay. <laughs> Please be... It's a medium apprentice mission. Probably going to kill us. But it is the ruins. Okay. Okay. Zeke was here first, so Zeke gets to go out. And Zeke's already had a, a bit of a, you know, bit of a journey. So he gets to come out again. We'll bring Marie. Marie, Marie. We'll bring Brian. And I'm tempted to bring Sergiris here, but in fact I'm probably not going to. Because although we do need money, it is going to be a medium mission. So we're probably going to get more than enough stuff Anyway, we just won't get the high stacking gold and the high stacking antiques, which is fine. I'm happy with that. Um, we have level twos who can fight the boss. So what we're really trying to do is get Zeke or Homesy up to level two to go and fight the boss with the, with the rest of them. We'd also like to avoid over leveling any level twos. So maybe we want to take... We can't take Viz because there's pious people here. But we can take Megistos and try and fill the boots of the late Homesy, which is probably easier said than done, but we will take Megistos anyway. We do have our uh, Retribution. It's exactly what we want. He can't hit the back. He can't really hit anything, to be fair. Uh, we've got Guard Ally, and we've got this command. Now, I think this hits. This uh, is a everybody buff, so that's pretty good. Let's, let's do these. Character class restriction. We have 30% heals received. Probably good. More damage in position 1. Also good. Thank you for having that. You can have Holmes's previous trinkets. Which is the max HP. Well, I didn't help Holmesy. Maybe a bleed resist? Let's see. Stun resist might be good. Pro Move skill. We're not really using it. Maybe we take the stun stone. Or whatever it's called. Help our stuns out a bit. Now we're going to the ruins. The ruins, not the warrens. I I can't imagine that taking a beast hitting thing rather than a human hitting thing would have flipped that fight in one way or the other. So, not too salty about the fact that it happened. Um, I don't I don't think that that mistake cost us Homesy, if that makes sense. Which it does, because I heard myself say it and ran it back. And it made perfect sense. So, uh, what the hell? What's this? Crit and dodge. Or we could take damage versus eldritch or humans. I think we just take damage versus humans. We turn uh, Homesy 2, which is Megistos, into uh, a stabby. A punchy, stabby, takey, damagey thing. The plus damage might help for the riposte thingy as well, which will um, certainly improve... The, the damage output that that gives us which will therefore improve the damage output that Repos gives us which is uh, quite a lot. So I want you to basically, well let's try and give you a Plague Doctor I don't want disease resist I want 
I want uh, blight, basically. No, the opposite of that. I want the opposite of this. Blight, 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 blight. Bleed amulet? No. Blight amulet. Sure. And you are going to get all the Vestal things ever. No. Nope. This one. And this one. So you're going to be healing like a mofo. And I'm going to be doing the math to make sure that it works. And I realise that I said doing the math rather than doing the maths. Oh, you two are going to swap around. Which makes me wonder whether I should take the uh, position 4 thing for you rather than the versus human. Let's have a look at that. There was one. Plus damage if in position 4. Did you see it? Did it go past? This one. Accuracy. Oh, that's not what I want. Okay. Okay. Everyone ready? Take a deep breath. If we'd survived that fight, we could have fed um, Ellie so much food to keep her alive. Spend all our money? <laughs> Who cares, right? Who cares wins? Skeleton key. Spend it all again? Sure. You ready? I'm not. The ruins ruined us. Poor old Holmesy. Can't get it out of my head. I've forgotten already. Let's move. What are we doing? Three holy relics. Well, the scouting really helps. And but give comfort to the masses. The shape of this place. How the hell are we going to find three without a massive amount of serendipity on our side? So there's a thingy, so we should... 60, 70, 50. Really? You guys suck. Well done. Appreciate that. Curio is a box. This is not homesy, so we're not going to randomly be opening it. Uh, yeah, let's get it for the treasures. That seems better. We could have used it on one of those chests. It's empty, so I'm not going to use a torch just yet. Could use it on one of those chests, but I don't really want the curios so much as I want the um, quest location there. And there. You fucking dick. Uh, I don't want the... Not the curios. I don't want the heirlooms so much as I want the... 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 Money, basically. Well, that was likely. <laughs> we can set fire to this. So we don't need to use the torch for a while because we can set fire. What is this? That's what we came for. Yeah, fucking dumbass. I was going to say we don't need to use a torch for a while, but. Because if we set fire to that thing, it gives us full torch. So what we can do is we can explore a bit, and then come back and set fire to it in the dark, basically. Ah, okay. So I want to try and put some dots on... Oh, uh, do I want to shuffle this? Maybe I want to shuffle this joker, because he's a dick. And it'll stun it. So maybe I can force it to do the rust shot and, yeah, move backwards. That's what I was thinking. And you can actually hew two things at once. So we put ourselves in a good position. Well, it's not as good now. I was thinking we could hit that and that. That that is no longer an option. We can retribution this. There's a little bit of damage to it, which is fine. But really what I was after was the, uh, yeah, that. A stun and torch plus six. Having the Vestal around for a bit of extra torch probably means I should have brought less, uh, fewer torches in the first place. But whatever, I guess. Minus 20 dodge. Or a stun. Well, resisted. That's fine. So we can chop, purge, withstand, and intimidate. Oh, we can't hew yet. And I, in fairness, I could not have afforded to do it. Of course you fucking dodge, by the way. He's a leper. He's used to that. Oh, we're bleeding. Not by much, but Zeke has to keep on top of it, and that's the important thing to note there. So play grenade will only hit that one, so maybe I should have done that first. I was tempted to do that first, but I didn't do that first. Uh, we can cure a bleed. I think Zeke can keep on top of it. We did bring Zeke, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's not make that mistake again. We haven't really done any damage. I really want to start doing damage. So I think we do some blights here. Try and get rid of this thing. Well, it's in a position where it's going to be doing things like rush shot. Yep. Which is a low chance to hit. But apparently also low damage. But it moves it back. So 
we're going to want to make sure it doesn't really get too much of an opportunity. Of course, you've done. Uh, you got five left, and you've got four to take, but that's okay. Um, we've got a guard on ally, which we can use later when someone starts getting low, as long as it's not, you know, Megistos himself. That's everybody. Morak and more crit. I think we just uh, want to start beating the shit out of these things, to be honest. Let's hit that. Because this thing's so close to death. Repost. Yay! Keep shooting Megistos. You can take it. That's what he's here for. Zeke is going to bleed. No, move. That's okay. Don't forget, these two units are basically interchangeable. Zeke has one attack that he can't do at the back. But, you know, whatever. Less damage and less accuracy. That's probably a good opening move, to be fair. A knockback. Also very good. And the stress heal. So we'll just keep chopping for now. Um, Decimated. Of course, when it does hit, it does far too much damage, but <laughs> the rest of the time it doesn't hit at all. Okay. Start healing, Zeke. One to two, and it was two. How are you getting... I'm still questioning whether I'm actually... <laughs> um, you know, getting any benefit from these healing trinkets, but who am I to question the uh, the game's knowledge? Oh, thank you. That's why I like Riposte, especially with the plus damage. Any attack that hits Megistos from now on is going to be retributed, right? Well, clear the corpses, bring it forward, start beating the shit out of it. That's what we like to see. Bang on. Who do we heal? Or do we just do this? Probably just do this. No one is in clear need of healing. Not even a group heal. Although, um, Brian is not far off. We've got two DPS units who are actually um, in a very, a, a very supportive role for where they are actually standing. You get back over here so you can do all your things. Brian's going to bleed a bit. So we might as well go up here and come back to here. Because we know there's nothing in this corridor. We don't know where else we need to go. So we still have to visit everywhere until we know better. Oh, shush. Ah, oh, trap. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. We did bring holy water this time. I'm sure there's two S's in dissolves. Typo's ever are in this game. The fool alike. But it's not Isaac, so I don't, even, don't know who to complain to. Tyrone. Just complain to Tyrone. Whatever it is, it's Tyrone's fault. I would like to go first. No? Flip a coin? Oh, go on. Give us a go. Looks like we might be sending some people out. Don't forget we can uh, camp, actually. So, may not be that bad. Marie! Do what you're here for. Thank you. Four and four, and that's twelve. So you're dead in three rounds, you're dead in also three. So we're gonna have to do some damage to that one. Uh I guess we intimidate out the out of the uh, you know box. Is that what things come out of? The box? You got debuffed, which is very nice. Fortunately, Megistos had not yet set up a repost. Unfortunately, Megistos had not yet set up a repost. Now you may set up your repost. Ah, oh, you can hit this one. Perfect. Now you've got one round fewer to live. Which, if I've got anything to do with it, is one. A crit. That's good. Although, you got the benefit for your crit, but that's okay. Can't complain. But I can. I often do, and I think that's why people keep watching, but... I'll try not to complain too much about that. That was a good dodge. I mean, I suppose your less accuracy has very much contributed to that. And we'll do this. So now you're dead. Good. And you don't leave a corpse. That's the important thing. Oh, excuse me. I just belched down the microphone. Whatever. Deal with it. Uh, could kill it. Did kill it. Very valuable because it had a turn left. Kill that. <clears throat> All together now. What did I just say to do? What did you not do? That's right. Resist, you say? Find that hard to believe. But I know you didn't need to kill that because it was dead anyway, but blah, blah, blah. So you're going to die. I mean, a very low level uh, ruins, 
you know, run with an actual Vestal is... Oh, of course we've got to collect these things, so we're going to run out of inventory space very quickly indeed. Well, I guess we get rid of this shit. Don't know, right? I'd rather have the portrait. Which we may also have to get rid of over time, but... Oh, thank you. Please do a double. Keep going. Yeah, it keeps going. So there's nothing... Hello? Oh, it's literally nothing, so it doesn't even point at it. So we need to do this one. Uh, and we need to do that one, and that's it. So we know where to go. So what we can do is we can either... You know, prepare just before we find the last Curio. And use our camp then. Or we can continue the quest and try and collect more stuff. But of course we'll have full inventory. Very full inventory indeed. So it may not be the greatest idea. Is this a stun? No, just a blight. Uh, I guess we set up a blight on this one with the high protection. Just to start off. Get it, get it going early. Because we don't really need Marie to do anything other than that for now. In fact, we probably don't need Marie to do anything other than that at all. Guess this again. Just keep keep doing damage to this, because it's going to take a long time to kill it. And I know these are the more DPS-oriented units, but still. So now we intimidate and try and remove accuracy and damage from both of these. Which also does a decent amount of damage, considering that that thing has 25% protection. It's only one and a half shots away from death, basically. Like on this round, it's going to get a go this round. And then it won't get a go next round, so we basically whittled this thing down to having one turn, which I'm perfectly happy with. And I think you can understand why. So now we might as well Noxious Blast this, which will kill it. And then we can focus on that, who is unfortunately getting a go. <laughs> to his own detriment, of course. So we'll just keep healing the party a little bit until somebody gets to the position where they really need to not... Them not die. All. So how about you just... Yeah. That was a really good fight. I know this is low level, but I still... I feel entitled to a little bit of, you know, self-moralizing, which is not what they're calling it these days. Thank you, Peanut Gallery. Um, Even though it's a low level mission, I, I still feel like... We deserve an easy victory. A cheap victory. That's a thousand. That's two fifty. We've only got one of them. Let's go to that. We can D D buff ourselves with these. Don't forget. Uh, or do do buff ourselves. Don't really care about that curio because. Ooh, I saw that trap as well. But it was too late. I saw it on the map, but I didn't see it on the ground because I was looking here. Uh, yeah, we could D D buff ourselves with the medicinal herbs, or we can. Um, you know, use them for a curio. But the curio that we use them for is only going to give us a shitload of food. That's interesting. They were surprised, even though... Dim light. Right, now we use our play grenade first. We learn that lesson. You took zero damage from it, but... You do have 12, so at least it divides by 4. Or is a multiple of 4. Is that, that's, yeah, that's right, Wood. Stop double-guessing yourself about how you speak English. Not that I've talked about divisors and multiples since... Divisors and multiples since... Goodness knows when. 18 damage. That's half of its health. Quite literally. More than, but it has an odd amount of health, so. I could kill this. That's exactly the right amount of health. You could have got away with rolling two less than that, and I'll still have been happy with it. What was that supposed to be? Okay, debuffs you. And it's supposed to move me, but it failed to. Blanket fire would have been a good reason to have already used repost, but of course. We basically have killed everything already. Uh, Marie? No one's bleeding. So why don't you set up a bleed, uh, a blight on this one? I mean, that would die, right? Is that more valuable? I don't think so. Because if it gets a go now, which it did, which I was expecting, that's hit us every time, which is a bit of a shame. Now it's dead, so I don't need to worry about it. I was kind of expecting that it would get a go. You know, maybe I could have done something else. Let's uh, let's do a buff and see if Zeki gets a go. Zeki does get a go. 
Anyway, maybe I should have just killed that. But then that one wouldn't have been dead now is possibly true. Possibly complete bullshit. <laughs> I know I could have healed someone for maybe one point, but... Hello. Do I want this? Kind of. It has been very valuable, but I don't think we need it on several people. But it's more valuable than this, so we should take it anyway. It's more valuable than that, even. Because we can sell it. Let's use the torch. I've brought too many torches. That that happens. Weren't to know, right? We'll, we'll get rid of them. In fact, we should probably eat something, but I'm expecting a hunger strike. Uh, a That's hunger gains proc Spirits at some point. Are lifted, so now we just keep going. Made clear. Rune battle with Curio. So, uh, I kind of want to go here as well. See if we can get some decent treasure out of the battle. We can always camp. It's a battle. There we go. Surprise is good. We can always camp at any time because we basically got this in the bag. So whenever we want to stop, we stop. Do we want to do this first or do, do, do you just want to try and kill him? I think because they're both basically guaranteed to die. That one's less guaranteed. Good, good roll. Very much a fan of that. We plague these jokers. And then you heal everybody. Kind of hoping for better heals than this, if I'm being honest. Especially since you take fucking plus 30% and you're doing plus 33%, plus 25%. Why are you rolling a 2 against him? It seems impossible. Well, okay. Yeah, I'm down with that. That's cool. I mean, that was a stress dealer. As you know. But it's dead. And you missed. We took one, one hit of damage from this entire round. That's really good. All credit to Megistos for that amazing uh, hit. I was going to say shot. I don't know what I was going to say. Leave me alone. Um, oh, <laughs> that's a shame. And that's a shame too, because we couldn't have reached it. But that's really good. So... You, know, you win some, you lose some. This fight's turned out excellently as well. Again with the twos. And dead. Oh, okay. Well, why don't we actually use this to some effect? There you go, you crit for two. Which is a normal roll, but okie dokie. At least you got some value out of your uh, final turn there. But victory, but victory nonetheless. nonetheless. Yes, I knew you were going to say that, you see. I'm going to take the gold because it stacks up to 1,500. Um, I mean, it may not be hugely necessary. The other nice thing about uh, low-level parties, no one's got any fucking bullshit quirks yet because no one's been stressed out enough to deal with it. I forgot to crack a torch before I went into the room that has the, <laughs> the, the battle on it, but I guess it's fine. Could you crack one now? Do get a little bit more stress. Whatever. No one's really got a stress attack, I think. No. Let's set up. Uh, oh, no one's got. Kind of want to set up a retribution. Does some damage. Brings it down to 12, which is a multiple of this. That's as much damage as it's going to take. Right, so it's, it's guaranteed to die. More so now. In fact, it's not going to get another go. So that was actually a good idea. I was trying to talk through my reasoning why that was a good idea, but mostly I'd want to do it because if there's any chance that anything is going to shoot Megistos at all, it's already a good idea. So you're dead. That's really good. And now you've moved up because you died from Blight, which I never can orchestrate, but when it happens, it's super valuable that it did happen. I'm, I'm really pleased for it to have happened. Uh, no one's bleeding, so whatever. I guess we Blight you. So you've got to go. So if we do some damage to you, which is basically going to kill you anyway, but... <laughs> Slight bagel all over, but in the other direction. I guess we just... Whatever. Right? It's only a little box anyway. We've got two stacks of food. That overconfidence is a slow and insidious insidious killer. Killer. And we could take both of those, which is actually very unexpected. Right, let's wander on. Ooh, I saw it this time. I'm actually going to get Marie to do it, because uh, she has the same chance as Megistos, but has more 
stressed. So as a result, we now have a little bit less stress on Marie. Not that it matters because we still have camp campfire wood that we're not going to get any reward for bringing home. For bringing for. <coughs> oh heck! <coughs> oh, a frog in my throat. Sorry about it. An heirloom's box. I was going to say, hopefully it's empty. It was empty. There is another trap. This could be bad. It's not bad. Yeah, we're going to camp anyway at some point. This is just a curio. So, de-stressing Marie by getting her to undo the traps is, you know, just niggling min-maxing that I don't think is necessarily worthwhile. Well, that undid everything, so maybe it was worthwhile. We will play grenade. Try and get rid of this jabroni at the back here. Four damage, nine, okay. So we need to hit it again because the play grenade itself didn't do quite enough damage to uh, put this into kill range, even in two rounds. It's three rounds before that dies. This has got also another two rounds on it. Had another two rounds on it, but we did crit. So now for once, we actually need Zeke to do a normal heal. But this is why we repost. More things hit. Eight, okay. See that? You can see the heals bonus there, but not on this one. Maybe it just doesn't apply to that um, that one there. Another one bites the dust. So you've only got one left, thanks to Riposte. So I remain uh, vindicated that Riposte is the correct thing to do. Do you know what? I'm still going to play grenade like this, because what I want to do is bring this down into, you know... I want to do that. That was perfect. That one was going to die from plague, but who cares? Because the fight's over anyway. But not getting that final bit of stress was, was so useful. Uh, pardon me? Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, hmm. Alright. Two. Any more? No? Any more? Oops. Any more? No. We get rid of one food for that. Who's going to be the brave one to open this? You've seen worse things in the mirror. Oh, it's empty. So, that'll be fine. Scouting from here seems good. There's a battle. So, I'm going to go to the quest location. And I'm going to pick up the quest item. Well, no, I'm not. I'm going to camp first. Oh, great. <laughs> Thanks, you dick. I'm going to pick up the, way the quest lit. item the after I've camped, because then I'll have the inventory space. Only the strength to follow it. Without discarding anything. I can only show you the door. You are the one who has to walk through. And then we could just leave, so... I mean, if we want to. Can I don't really want to? It's a goal without hope. Minus 10 stress is not a lot, and you don't have any at all. So I'm going to take the four, just in case as we wander around after picking up the quest item, you know, finishing off the dungeon and collecting more stuff, um, we happen to get another hunger, and then it would be far too stressful if we did. All companions, more damage, and maybe more crit. That's pretty good, but it costs four. More dodge and more speed for one person. Not too valuable, because we don't have a... A jumpy around type unit. Someone who likes to go first anyway. Less stress damage and less stress. You're not religious, so probably not not necessarily what we want. Blight and bleed. Reduce stress, heal 20%. Remove blight and bleed and add accuracy. So we could let Marie there get really, really beaten down. Uh, and then just self-medicate and just fix everything. Okay, so we've got these two are good buffs. We've got Quarantine. You take 20% HP damage, and everyone reduces stress. 20% is a lot, but we can heal it quite easily. Possibly with even, you know, one of your... Reduce stress and more prot. Oh. We well, can heal 15% in two times. That actually seems like a pretty good idea. Yeah, let's see what happens. Oh, very good. Eight damage. That was only 20% of your HP. Okay, whatever. Uh, we could reduce even more stress, but honestly, unless we get too much in the future, this is fine. So I guess we now do this. And then... 
I could just heal you up again, but I don't really care to. You're on 10, so anything I do will not be that great. So I could encourage you to get rid of some of that. And this is actually 3. So maybe we could give that to you. Uh, let's not do it just yet. Not that. Not that. Not really those two. And we could encourage uh, New Jekry. Marie. <laughs> Sorry. I, I see the pointy bill and it's just Jekry to a T. So, you know, what are you going to do? Well, we could encourage Marie to de-stress a bit. But I think we do this on you. There we go. Let me rest. Try not to get a uh, an ambush. Oh, we got an ambush. It's going to be spiders, I think. Or bugs. Or both. Okay. Well, that seems fair. Guess we stunned that. Probably should have moved. Oh, you can do stuff. Maybe they are... Maybe they respond to marks? Oh, this is bad. Because you probably can't do anything from that position. Well dodged. Appreciate that. You do have a knife, but you have no capability for using it, apparently. That's okay. We do get more stress right now, but we're going to get a shitload of loot from it, I guess. Uh, illumination? We get some torch for it. It doesn't do any damage. It does do a bit of damage. Sweet. I'm a fan of that. Not going to help, but whatever. Everyone get accuracy and crit. I don't want to keep switching these two around. That would be foolish. So we're going to walk like this. There we go. You're going to disorient this one now because stun things. Oh, uh, whatever. <laughs> Didn't go too well. But you've got repost on, so I didn't quite kill it. 20 stress. This has actually turned out to be a quite a bad fight simply because of the stress damage that we've taken as a result of it. At least you resisted that. That's really good. Uh, stun or damage? I guess we damage a thing. I mean, a kill is better than a not kill. You have to sort of assume that that's always true. Right, you're in a position to kill it. So do. Uh, I said do. Not miss, but okay. We don't run, run, run. We don't run, run. We'll try and stun it then. Let me get another attack. Yeah. Now just do damage. I should have used that. Right, hit it this time. Resist, probably. Oh, okay. Well... All our wonderful camping <laughs> was to no avail. Ah, uh, to no avail. Right, let's have this then. The object of the search. We will continue. Even though I've just taken a load of stress damage that I'm not pleased to talk with. There's a curio there. We ignored that one. I want to go and fight that battle, which doesn't actually have a treasure in it, but... Eh, yeah, we'll see what we get. We've got a bit of space for gold and we can chuck away stuff we don't need like the uh, hopefully the shovels. Ignore that please. I mean the worst thing we can go do to the bookcase there is burn it I think. Okay well there's nothing in here. We can get stuff just as a result of having fought the battle so I guess we still try. Holy water? No. But we're glad we didn't throw away the shovels the just yet. Stone seems bent on preventing right. Passage. And then we'll go in. Hopefully we get a scout from this and we can see whether we want to go to the next room. Honestly, it's one room. Who cares? Let's try it. Well, that's a bad start. Marie is now going to have to go for some uh, therapy, I'm afraid. Even though we actually spent a bit of time making sure Marie had zero stress. Kind of should have thought of it, I suppose. Because I'm aware that there's so much stress being dealt directly from this side. Um, but... Less damage and less accuracy, or maybe just a straight-up kill? Yeah, we've got a good chance of killing here. <laughs> oh, how you jest. Sure, part of heal. Fours now. Fair enough. Is that... Is that this? Or have I just been rolling ones and getting twos and never getting a four? That is not impossible. It just seems really, really unlikely. Okay, now you're dead. So, I'm happy with that. 
I know I should have said maybe repost and got some damage from that as well, but I'm happy to kill the the uh, damage the stress dealer that went first. Unfortunately, play grenade is still only two units at the back, and there aren't two units at the back. I think maybe what we try and do is this has got two goes. We might be able to shuffle it and cause this to do whatever. Yeah, that seems good. So now you die anyway, and you didn't get the go, which is what I was expecting to happen, is that this went next. How quickly the Ow. Hey, it's not turned yet. Chill out. Now uh, Marie can use the healing that she so rarely gets the opportunity to do. So now we chop this. Hassan, chop. And then you die. Oh. Uh, then you die. <laughs> Oh, how he left. Yeah, four, fours now. And I don't think the plus 10 damage affects that, if, if you know what I mean. Uh, we might as well use this. And then you go. Yeah. Ooh. You don't say. So clearly in view. So we'll get rid of the shovels. Trick of the light? Take the crests. We eat the food. I'm honestly just tempted to get rid of everything else. Let's do this. Take that and go. That was a good, a really good run. I'm very happy with that. It was actually quite quick as well for saying it was a level 1 million mission. Uh, a medium. Medium mission. I know I can click somewhere to make these all open at once, but I'm buggered if I know where it is. Scattering, less damage range skills. I think that applies to the uh, Holy Light and things like that. More damage and wield is good. More scouting chance in runes is also good. And more heal skills while camping is probably really good because Marie does actually have that one camp skill that basically is massively OP and Your clears all setting. of everything. Interest right, everyone's chilled out, so that's nice. Bagel my still needs to go in for some therapy. So does Ellie. Damnation. Let's get them in. We've got 9,000 again. We're slowly dragging this back out of the out of the uh, ditch. Is that the cheapest you can be? No. Bagel and Ellie, get in there. What have you got? What's wrong with you? Oh. <laughs> That's a bad thing for Earth. You go in there. You go in here. Hemophilia has turned up so much recently. I've spent a lot of money on just getting rid of it. Well... Can we upgrade what I wanted? It wasn't this. And I still can't. We need way more portraits. And they're the hardest thing to get. Because they take up so much inventory space. Simply because they only stack to three. We didn't get many deeds either. But we did get a lot of other stuff. So it's possible we can actually increase the armorsmithing ability of the blacksmith here. <clears throat> Just by trading in. We need eight. Let me click this. There we go. So it's going to cost 24. Okay. A sharper sword, a stronger shield. Anything but we're going to need so long, a lot more life. money to actually use that, which is what Sejiris is for. So I think we probably go out with a Zeki Sejiris, maybe a Dutch and Erasmus mission. They seem like a good com combination. Uh, not you, not you, not you. Actually, we probably need to put Marie... Oh, I guess Marie could come out again. Please, miss. Is Marie in? Can Marie come out to play? Well, we've only got this. <laughs> this is the only apprentice mission. Oh. There's a short apprentice mission. Maybe we'll do this next time. We'll take uh, Zeki Dutch at the back, which is really good. With a sniper's ring, in fact. That seems like a great idea. Erasmus with Lunge and Shadow Fade. Also seems like a good idea. Poison Darts 2. And... Maybe not. <laughs> so Jairus With the... Uh, the Invinigorating Vapors are actually... Not in the right position for that. We might have to unlock some better stuff. Or maybe just... 
can you do from this position? Basically nothing. That's a problem. Could just come along for the ride. And then maybe Brian again at the front. New Homesy, DT. DT can be at the front. Something like this. What's our levels? That's 0, 1, 1, 0, 0. Oh, 1. Zeke is actually leveled up, which is actually extremely valuable. So we'll probably do this on the next episode, but uh, until then, I'm going to leave you to have your tea. Have a nice sleep. Sleep well. Hope you have nice dreams. Dream of uh, Darkest Dungeon for me. Dream up the strategy for this possibly suicide mission where we take an antiquarian in a position where they can't actually really do anything. And thank you for watching. I will see you in the next episode. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more. I appreciate the number of subscribers we have all men already, but it's there could always be more. Uh, share it with your friends. Tell people if you want to be in it, let me know because the next time somebody dies, we might not be able to resurrect them. But as I said, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.